Good day, everyone. My name is Avi Leong, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. A um, couple of years ago, I stayed for a year in Michigan, USA, and my main job was caring for grounds, like fields and forests. During that time, I was introduced to this invasive plant called the Oriental Bittersweet. You can look that up. And what this looks like is it grows up to be these, it grows up um, starting as these very small and thin plants, but they crawl um, across the ground, under the soil and up. And sometimes they crawl around trees, big strong trees in the US, um, and they slowly crawl upwards. Eventually, um, over years, over a span of time, they eventually cover up the whole tree. So these small and thin plants, they cover up the tree. And what they do is they steal all the nutrients, the, the sun, the water, the rain, etc. They absorb it instead of the tree. What it will look like a few years after, untended, is um, the vines have very thick vines. <laughs> very thick vines, lots of leaves. But inside, it's just a shell of vines. It's, it's a shell of vines, but inside, it's just a dead tree. It's withering away because it's not able to get a lot of nutrients to grow. Today's gospel from Luke chapter 8 verses 4 to 15, Jesus talks about this very good news that he wants his followers, you and I, to bear good fruit in their lives, to be the kind of Christians that are bearing fruit in their lives. God wants to make of you a transformed, fruit-bearing blessing to other people. Imagine a strong tree, unswaying, unwavering, even in times of trouble, of turmoil, of uncertainty. God wants to transform you into a Christian with that kind of character and foundation and faith. You are unshaken. And like trees that bear fruit, uh, the Lord also wants to make us into Christian men and women who, when people pass by our lives, have a conversation with us, have some engagement. It's like they're bearing fruit. They're taking fruit. They find joy. They experience life. They find rest. Like um, pastors by who are tired and weary and need some shade and a place to rest. The Lord wants to make of you a Christian who can be that kind of person to those who are weary to provide rest. So the Lord... Can, will, wants to transform us and can do it. And he gives us his word, his spirit, his power to be able for us to do so. But here's what Jesus says in this parable. It is not enough for us to simply hear his word. To simply know that he gives us his power. It's not enough. We have to be willing to work with God. So he can cultivate and allow what he plants in us to grow and bear good fruit. Two things that I think from this parable teach us about how we need to work with God. So that the fruit, the, the seed that he plants in us, his words and his grace transform us. So we become fruit bearing Christian men and women. One is... Like the Oriental Bittersweet, there are many things that might start out small, but actually take up a lot of our life. The first thing that I think this parable teaches us how to work with God is we have to be willing to prune, to cut off distractions and unnecessary attachments that might keep us from receiving and growing in our life with God. There might be a lot of commitments, things, relationships, bad and good, that keep us from following God. Sin, some, some wrongdoing, some unhealthy relationships, but there also might be good things. We might be so caught up with earning money, with maintaining status with our friends, that we're not able to listen to God anymore. We could even be so busy with our services and our ministries and our churches, church activities. We want to do so many things for God. And that's good. But we might be so busy that we're unable to sit down and listen to Him tell us what is it that He wants us to do. 
So this might be one of the things we find that we'll be working for a long time. To look at our lives and say, are there things here that are keeping me from sitting down, listening, and growing in my relationship with God? Secondly, we have to cling on to His truth. It's easy to believe and to find joy in the fact that God loves us during a time of providence when everything that we have is well provided for. But when times, during times and seasons that we are experiencing difficulty, persecution, scarcity or lack, uncertainty, these are the times that when we cling on to God's truth, it takes deeper root. When you're going to go through a time of trouble, because we all will, we all will, I want to encourage you, cling on to God's love, His truth, His words. Find out and try to understand. Ask of the Lord, what does it mean that you love me during this time of crisis in my life? The greatest saints and martyrs and missionaries were able to spend their whole lives and do great and bold things beyond what they thought was their capacity because their trust, confidence, and faith in the Lord's truth and love for them was so great. That's also possible for you. So let's work with God to cultivate His words, His grace, His power, His Holy Spirit, which He has planted in our hearts, in us. Let's work with Him, cooperate with Him here, so that all these that He has planted might grow and bear good fruit. God bless you, and I hope you find that. Again, my name is Avi Leong, and please like and share Pathways of Hope. I hope you have a great day.